Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to learn a bit more about the Unit Service Plan. This is one of a series of videos designed to help you learn quickly how to use the Unit Service Plan to provide better service, helping units provide quality scouting programs to youth. This module will explain how to use the results of a collaborative assessment to develop a Unit Service Plan. If you haven't already done so, Watch other videos in this series on the Unit Service Plan first. The topics we will discuss include why the Unit Service Plan offers a better way to provide unit service, preparations for developing a Unit Service Plan, how to develop a Unit Service Plan in Commissioner Tools, finalizing the contact for both the Unit Service Plan and the collaborative assessment upon which it was based, and next steps. The unit service plan enables commissioners to fulfill their mission to help units better serve more youth through scouting. It also enables improved retention of units and the improvement of the performance rating of units using journey to excellence metrics. The unit service plan has the greatest impact when built upon a collaborative assessment of the unit's strengths and needs. The first video in this series, Why Build a Unit Service Plan, identified four key benefits of developing and managing a unit service plan in Commissioner Tools. Focus, actionable information, linkage, efficiency. A unit service plan in Commissioner Tools touches every metric we currently use to measure the impact of unit service and also to help our units continually improve. Here are the key characteristics of the troop our unit commissioner is serving. Our unit isn't perfect, but there are positive things to be said for it. Let's see how our new unit commissioner might help its leaders build upon their efforts to date. Some unit commissioners find it helpful to capture their own perspective of a unit using an intermediate assessment before starting the planning process. Our commissioner did just that with a contact resulting in a score of 2.5. Our unit commissioner has been using a contact scheduled in the future to capture initial feedback from the unit's key three leaders regarding their perspectives of the unit and to work with them to complete a collaborative assessment. The contact hasn't been marked complete yet. So while elements of that contact have been completed, the unit service plan hasn't been finalized. Our unit's key leaders and unit commissioner identified three action items to address gaps that were identified in planning and budgeting. The Scoutmaster took responsibility for an annual planning conference. The Committee Chair took responsibility for developing an annual budget. During their discussions, the unit leaders indicated they had little budgeting experience. Our unit commissioner offered to coordinate training by a member of the District Finance Committee and has an action item to link the unit to those district resources. We can also see that a target date has been set for completing all of these action items. No immediate needs were identified in membership, so no action items were established. Remember that our commissioner and unit leaders agreed that an annual program plan was needed. They believed that would do more to improve program quality for this unit than anything else at this time. In the program area, it was decided that developing an annual program plan would best address the identified needs in short-term camping and service projects. It was also agreed that the patrol method should be implemented and an action plan has been established for that. The Scoutmaster has taken responsibility and we can see the target date that has been set. In leadership health, the committee chair took responsibility for an action item to recruit two additional parents to serve on the committee by October the 15th. Also, in leadership health, the committee chair took responsibility for ensuring all registered adults are current on youth protection training 
and that at least one registered adult is attending roundtable each month. This work is to be completed by November 30th. In other videos, we discussed the relationship between the unit service plan and journey to excellence. The unit service plan includes prioritized tasks that can help the unit better serve more youth. Journey to Excellence provides a great view of what has been accomplished and enables goal setting in a broader context. The unit service plan focuses on short-term goals that ensure long-term success. Step 6 of the detailed assessment, unit priorities and other details, provides space to record the level of JTE achievement the unit's key leaders want to attain. Here we can see our unit leaders have set JTE silver as their goal for the current year. Setting a goal isn't required. No ranking is an option for this field. Step 6 also provides several freeform fields for comments about opportunities to assist the unit in six different areas, including membership, advancement, program activity camping, training, finance, and leadership. It also provides free form fields to identify items to be discussed with the ADC or district commissioner or to enter information about possible candidates for commissioner service. Our commissioner can simply scroll down through the available fields, select anywhere additional information might be useful, and key it in. Step 6 of the detailed assessment function also provides unit commissioners to identify priority needs for a unit. Priority needs are conditions that likely will limit the quality of the program delivered by the unit and could threaten its existence. Commissioners could indicate priority needs with a check of the corresponding box. Commissioner tools can produce a report listing all units in a district or a council with priority needs. Our unit commissioner didn't identify any priority needs for our troop. All elements of the detailed assessment have been completed. Once our unit commissioner clicks the Complete Contact button, a collaborative assessment and supporting unit service plan to address identified needs will be moved to complete status. Now we see our completed contact. Our commissioner can open it at any time to review the details. With our plan complete, the next step will be to report progress. Our unit commissioner can use the simple assessment function in Commissioner Tools to do that. Check out the video on updating a unit service plan to see how that is done.